Welcome to Gun Talk. My name is Dave. In today's video, we'll be installing the buffer tube assembly and the takedown pin assembly into our AR lower receiver. Now we're going to install our buffer tube assembly and our takedown pin assembly. The components include the buffer tube, the buffer tube spring, the buffer, the buffer retainer, buffer retainer spring, castle nut, end plate, takedown pin, takedown pin spring, takedown pin detent. Tools we'll need to complete the assembly include a torque wrench, a castle nut wrench, and arrow shell grease to lubricate the castle nut itself. To prepare for our buffer tube assembly, we'll first install our castle nut the tightening notches will be pointed toward the rear of the buffer tube. And we'll want to thread this all the way back. And now we'll put our end plate on. The side that will be facing outward will also be t pointed toward the back of the buffer tube. As you can see, we have a groove here and a notch here. We need to line those up. And slide that back as far as it'll go. Before I attach the buffer tube assembly to the lower receiver, I'm going to apply some Aero Shell 33 to the threads. And this will assist us in the future if we need to remove it. So now I'm going to thread it on. I'm going to give it about five good rotations. Now we have a hole right here. This hole is going to house our retainer pin spring and our buffer retainer. Now I'm going to use my thumb. I'm going to depress that retainer down and I'm going to give our buffer tube one more rotation. Now the buffer tube is retaining the pin for us. Next we're going to insert our takedown pin. As you can see here, I've applied some gun grease into the channel of the takedown pin. When installing the takedown pin, I want this channel facing the back of the rifle. So let's go ahead and install that. Now, I'm going to give our buffer tube, we'll move it to about the 7 o'clock position. We've got a hole right here, so this channel will house our takedown pin detent and our takedown pin spring. So next, I'll insert the detent into that hole, and we'll follow that by the spring. Now. Carefully as I can, without bending our spring, I'm going to depress that with my finger. I'm going to rotate our buffer tube back to the six o'clock position. I'm going to try to straighten that spring that's behind our plate here. And now that I've got it nice and straight, you can see our spring. It's being Temporarily held by our back, back plate. I'm going to take my back plate and I'm going to start pushing it forward to capture that spring into this channel here. And now I'm going to hand tighten our Kessel nut. The spec for tightening down our Kessel nut is 38 to 42 pounds. 
uh, with my 15 inch wrench and a 3 inch extension for my castle nut wrench uh, that's going to put me at about 32 pound setting on the wrench itself. I'll have another video posted on doing torque wrench uh, math. All right, and now our last step will be to uh, stake the castle nut down. To stake our castle nut, I'm going to use a Sterrett 117C punch. And we've got these little divots on our castle nut. We've got about three of them. So what we're going to try to do is on the back plate, about a third of the way back on the back plate is where I'm going to put the point of my punch. And I'm going to hammer straight down and push the material of the back plate into that little divot on the castle nut. If it all goes well, we have a nice clean stake. You can see where I've pushed the material, the back plate, into that little divot. Now they suggest you do two stakes. However, I don't have a good angle on the other two divots in my castle nut to do that. So I'm just going to leave it at one. Um, but with our torque setting and the one stake, we shouldn't be in good shape. Our final step on our buffer tube assembly is to install the spring in the buffer. Put the buffer in the spring, put the spring in the buffer tube, push it back, and the buffer is now held by our buffer retainer pin. And our last and final step is to install our buttstock onto our buffer tube. And that completes the installation of our buffer tube assembly and our takedown pin assembly into our lower receiver. If you found this video useful, please leave comments below and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.